हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय सेकंड लेक्चर ऑन कन्फॉर्मल मैपिंग वी नो दैट बाय द डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेरिवेटिव लिमिट जेड टेंस टू जेड नॉट मॉड ऑफ एफ जेड माइनस एफ जेड नॉट ओवर जेड माइनस जेड नॉट इज इक्वल टू मॉड ऑफ एफ प्राइम जेड नॉट एंड देयर फॉर वी कैन सी हियर दैट व्हेन जेड इज वेरी क्लोज टू जेड नॉट मॉड ऑफ एफ एड एफ जेड माइनस एफ जेड नॉट इज इक्वल टू मॉड ऑफ एफ प्राइम जेड नॉट इन टू मॉड ऑफ जेड माइनस जेड नॉट when z is very close to z not then mod of f z minus f z not is equal to approximately mod of f prime z not into mod of z minus z not therefore the conformal mapping w equal to f z magnifies or reduces small figures in the neighborhood of a point z not in the z plane into small figures in the w plane by an amount equal to mod of f prime z not square called the area magnification factor in the case of area it will be mod of f prime z not square and in the case of distances like here mod of fz minus fz not equal to uh, mod of fz f prime z not into mod of z minus z not the lengths will be uh, magnified or reduced by the factor mod of f prime z not this is here the length uh, of uh, i mean between fz and fz not and here it mod of z minus z not is the length between z and z not so the lengths uh, in the z uh, uh, plane uh, are magnified or reduced in the w plane by an amount mod of f prime z not and the areas are magnified by magnified or reduced by an amount approximately equal to mod of f prime z not square so in the case of area mod of f prime z not is square is called the area magnification factor and in the case of lengths mod of f prime z not is called the linear magnification factor the argument of f prime z not is called the rotation of the transformation w equal to fz at z equal to f z not because argument of z w dot t not equal to argument of f prime z not plus argument of z prime t not this we have seen in the uh, uh, lecture on uh, Uh, uh conformal mapping in the previous lecture uh, we had w equal to f z and when the curve z is uh, cur curve curve c is given by its parametric representation uh, we this implies that w t equal to f of z t now let us say z t not equal to z not then this equation gave us uh, w t equal to f z t gives gives us by chain rule d w by d t equal to uh, uh, d w by d z into d z by d t uh, so we can say that w dot t not is equal to d w by d z is f prime z so f prime z not into z dot t not okay and this gives us argument of f w dot t not equal to argument of f prime z not my my plus argument of z dot t not now this equation tells us that the tangent to the curve c at the point t equal to t not that is z equal to z not is uh, is uh, rotated by an angle or equal to argument of f prime z not in the w plane so the tangent to any curve c in the z plane passing through z not is rotated through the angle argument of f prime z not and that is why f prime z not is called the rotation uh, factor uh, and, uh, rotation of the transformation w equal to f z at z equal to z not now here we have to notice that uh, since f prime z varies from point to point uh, a large figure this actually uh, is valid because limit of mod of f z minus f z not over z minus z not is equal to mod of f prime z not so this is uh, very uh, this is actually uh, 
uh, valid for uh, values of z which are very close to z naught that is in a sufficiently small neighborhood of z naught the lengths are magnified or reduced by a factor mod of f dash z naught the areas are magnified or reduced by an by a factor mod of f prime z naught square but in the case of a large figure the, we may have a slow uh, image whose uh, shape is quite different from that of the original figure so that we have to uh, note uh, keep make a note of now uh, if fz is analytic in a domain then we know that the derivative of fz at a point z in d is given by derivative of u with respect to x partial derivative and then plus i times partial derivative of v with respect to x now from here mod of f prime z is equal to uh, square root uh, u x square plus b x square. So, that mod of f prime z square is u x square plus b x square and uh, we know also know that uh, when a function is analytic in a domain d it satisfies Cauchy Riemann equations at every point in d. So, u x is equal to b y and u y is equal to minus b x. Okay. So, let us make use of these Cauchy Riemann equations then we can write e ux square as ux into b y and v x square we can write as b x into uh, minus u y. Okay. So, u x into b y minus u y into b x or we can say mod of f prime z square we can write this uh, value u x b y minus u y b x in the form of the determinant u x u y v x b y and this determinant is nothing but the Jacobian of u v with respect to y. So, where this determinant is the Jacobian of the transformation w equal to f z equal to u x y plus i v x y. Okay. Now, uh, hence the condition f prime z naught is not equal to 0 if f prime z naught is not equal to 0 then what do we get the Jacobian of u v with respect to x y at the point x naught y naught will be non-zero and this implies that the mapping w equal to f z is 1 to 1 or injective in a sufficiently small neighborhood of z naught. Now, let us consider a, an example let us uh, say take the rectangular region r in the z plane which is bounded by the uh, lines x equal to 0 by equal to 0 x equal to 2 by equal to 1 and we have to determine the region r dash of the w plane into which r is mapped under the transformation w equal to root 2 into e to the power i pi by 4 into z plus 1 minus 2 i. Now, we have we can see the figure here we have to also find the Jacobian of the transformation and interpret the result geometrically. Now, this is your uh, by axis this is x axis. So, this is line by equal to 0 this line x equal to 0 we have x equal to 2 here by equal to 1 here. So, it is a rectangular region bounded by x equal to 0 by equal to 0 x equal to 2 by equal to 1. Okay. Now, we have the uh, transformation w equal to root 2 into e to the power i pi by 4 into z plus 1 minus 2 i. Uh, now, we have u w equal to u x y plus i v x y and we have z equal to x plus i y. So, we have root 2 e to the power i by i pi by 4 is cos pi by 4 plus i sin pi by 4. So, 1 by root 2 plus i into 1 by root 2 and here we have x plus i y in plus 1 minus 2 i. So, we have uh, 1 plus i into x plus i y plus 1 minus 2 i. Now, we can uh, write it as x plus i x then i y then we have i square y. So, minus y plus 1 minus 2 i. Now, collecting the real parts and imaginary parts on the right side we have x minus y plus 1 plus i times x plus y minus 2. Okay. So, equating real and imaginary parts what we get u x y equal to x minus y plus 1 and v x y equal to 
x plus y minus 2 ok. Now, uh, let us see where y equal to 0 is mapped un uh, under the uh, transformation w equal to root 2 e to the power i pi y 4 into z plus 1 minus 2 i. So, let us first see the image of x equal to 0 ok. So, x equal to 0 is mapped into ok. So, x equal to 0 gives you uh, u equal to 1 minus by minus by plus 1 and uh, uh, b equal to uh, by minus 2 ok. So, that uh, u plus b is equal to minus 1 this gives you u plus b equal to minus 1 ok. So, x equal to 0 this is mapped into u plus b equal to minus 1 and similarly we can see y equal to 0 y equal to 0 is mapped into uh, u equal to x plus 1 u equal to x plus 1 and v equal to x minus 2 ok. So, this gives you u minus b equal to 3. So, y equal to 0 goes to u minus b equal to 3 ok and similarly we can see the image of y equal to 1 by when y is equal to 1 ok we get uh, u x y equal to x ok and v x y is equal to uh, we are looking at by the image of y equal to 1. So, x minus 1 ok and now eliminating x here what we get uh, uh, u minus b equal to 1 ok. So, u minus b equal to 1 ok this is the image of y equal to 1 and then the image of x equal to 2 is u plus b equal to 3. So, we get a rectangular region again in the w plane, but you can see uh, under the transformation w equal to root 2 into e to power i pi by 4 into z plus 1 minus 2 we actually have a composition of two transformations. One is of the type let us say zeta equal to uh, root 2 e to the power i pi by 4 into z and the other one is w equal to zeta plus 1 minus 2i ok. Now, let us look at first uh, zeta equal to root 2 into e to the power i pi by 4 into z ok. This transformation is of the type zeta equal to beta z ok. So, if you see the argument of beta argument of beta will be uh, root 2 is a, a, a positive real number. So, its argument is 0 uh, par, uh, e to the power i pi by 4 has argument pi by 4 ok plus argument of z ok argument of beta is pi by 4 plus argument of z that means the figure in the z plane is rotated in the clockwise is rotated in the anti clockwise direction by an angle pi by 4. So, this y equal to 0 will be in the direction of the ray theta equal to pi by 4. So, this rectangular region is rotated in the anti clockwise direction by an angle pi by 4 and this root 2 uh, will play the role in the magnification of the figure. So, mod of zeta we can say is equal to root 2 times mod of e to the power i pi by 4 is 1. So, mod of zeta is equal to root 2 times mod of z. This means that the figure in the uh, uh, zeta in the zeta plane will be magnified by root 2 times the figure in the uh, z plane. That means, each uh, uh, side of the uh, z plane will be uh, magnified by the factor root 2 in the zeta plane ok. So, this zeta plane uh, the figure in the zeta plane that we have is then translated by the uh, number alpha equal to 1 minus 2 i. So, this means that uh, uh, w equal to zeta plus 1 minus 2 i 
okay there will be translation in the direction of 1 minus 2 i by uh, uh, the magnitude of mod of uh, the mod of 1 minus 2 i that is mod of 1 minus 2 i is uh, square root of 5. So, we will uh, translate the figure that we obtain by the zeta equal to root 2 times e to power pi by 4 into z by uh, the magnitude of 1 minus 2 i in the direction of 1 minus 2 i. So, this is the figure that we get ultimately in the w plane. So, this means that the figure in the w plane is a uh, is, the, is the resultant of uh, the uh, rotation uh, and magnification and translation ok. W equal to root 2 times e to power i pi by 4 into z uh, rotates the figure by angle pi by 4 magnifies it by the factor root 2 and then uh, the w equal to zeta plus 1 minus 2 i translates the figure by this uh, uh, complex number 1 minus 2 i in the direction of 1 minus 2 i. So, uh, we will translate the uh, figure by uh, uh, the magnitude of 1 minus 2 i in the direction of 1 minus 2 i and we get this figure ok. Now, uh, let us see uh, the area in the uh, uh, of the rectangular region in the z plane is uh, area r is equal to this is uh, this uh, this is li length is uh, 2 ok and width is 1. So, area is equal to 2 ok and here you can see the area u plus b equal to minus 1. So, we can find this point this point is uh, this is u equal to 0. So, this is minus uh, 0 minus 1 point this point is let me call it p this point is 0 minus 1 and uh, here uh, u plus b equal to 3 b is equal to 0. So, this is 3 0 point ok and u minus b equal to 1 u plus b equal to 3 gives you uh, uh, when you add the 2 let us find this point also. So, u minus b equal to 1 u plus b equal to 3 gives you 2 u equal to 4. So, u equal to 2 ok and when u equal to 2 b equal to 1. So, this point is uh, let me call it as uh, P uh, Q and then this point as R and this point as S. Okay, so P Q P Q is equal to uh, the distance between uh, zero minus one and two one. So that is under root two square uh, plus uh, two square. So this is two root two. Okay, now you can see this uh, u minus b equal to 1 u minus b equal to 1 corresponds to by equal to 1 ok. This corresponds to by equal to 1 this line ok and the length of by equal to 1 is 2 ok. The length of by equal to 1 is 2 and this length is then magnified by root 2 factor it becomes 2 root 2 here ok and similarly here uh, the length p s p s is equal to uh, same as uh, your r q. So, this one is uh, uh, 3 minus 2 square that is 1 square and then plus 1 square. So, that is root 2 and you can you can see that this uh, u plus b equal to 3 u plus b equal to 3 uh, we got as uh, corresponding to x equal to 2 ok corresponding to x equal to 2. Uh, we have u plus b equal to 3 and the length of this uh, uh, side of the rectangular region is 1 ok and here this is length this length r, r q is root 2. So, this length uh, uh, this side of the rectangular region is magnified by root 2 ok. So, this length of r q becomes root 2. Now, the area of the rectangular region r dash is area r dash is equal to you can see 2 root 2 into root 2. So, this is equal to 4 ok. So, here the area is 2 here area becomes 4 ok. Now, uh, we have uh, when we discuss this uh, uh, article we have seen that uh, when the mapping is conformal ok here the mapping is conformal and uh, so uh, the area is magnified by a factor mod of f prime z naught square ok mod of f prime z naught square and here let us find f prime z f prime mod of f prime z square is equal to uh, uh, the Jacobian of u b with respect to x y. So, let us find this Jacobian and see uh, what we get. Uh, so, here uh, 
mod of f prime z ok f prime z equal to root 2 into e to power i pi by 4 ok f prime z equal to root 2 into e to the power i pi by 4. So, this is mod of e to the power i pi by 4 is 1. So, root 2 ok and mod of f prime z square is equal to 2 ok. So, area of the region R is then magnified by mod of f prime z square that is uh, 2 times the area of R. So, R dash has area 2 times the area of R and lengths we have seen they are magnified by uh, mod of f prime z which is equal to root 2 area is magnified by mod of f prime z square. So, we have found the Jacobian here Jacobian of the transformation Jacobian is nothing but uh, uh, Jacobian is uh, mod of f prime z square ok. So, Jacobian is equal to this Jacobian ok. Jacobian is equal to mod of f prime z square. So, this is equal to 2. Now, let us uh, go to the next question uh, determine the region of the w plane into which the region bounded by x equal to 1 by equal to 1 and x plus by equal to 1 is mapped by the transformation w equal to z square. So, w equal to z square gives you u plus i v equal to x plus i v by a whole square which gives you u x y equal to equating real and imaginary parts x square minus y square and b x y equal to uh, 2 x y. Now, uh, uh, the uh, region in the z plane is bounded by x equal to 1 by equal to 1 and x plus y equal to 1. So, this is the uh, uh, line by b c the line b c is x equal to 1 a c is y equal to 1 and this line is uh, x plus y equal to 1 is this a b. So, this is the triangular region ok and we can see here this angle is pi by 4 a c and b c are equal. So, this angle is same as this angle. So, this is pi by 4 this pi by 4 ok. Now, let us see the image of these uh, 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 sides of the triangle into the w plane where they are mapped ok. So, uh, when x equal to 1 what do we get uh, u x y equal to uh, 1 minus by square or uh, b x y equal to 2 x y. So, that gives 2 y ok. So, y equal to b y 2. So, u is equal to 1 minus b square y 4 ok. So, this gives you a parabola ok. So, x equal to 1 is mapped into a parabola u equal to 1 minus b square by 4. So, this is the parabola u equal to 1 minus b square by 4. We can easily draw this parabola uh, b square by 4 equal to 1 minus u ok r b square equal to uh, 4 times 1 minus u. So, you can see that we can easily trace this parabola if u is greater than 1 then b square is negative. So, b will be imaginary. So, the curve does not exist for u greater than 1 and when u is equal to 1 it is b equal to 0. So, vertex of the parabola is at 1 0 and uh, when you are b equal to uh, when you are u equal to 0 we get b square equal to 4. So, b equal to plus minus 2. So, it crosses the by x uh, it crosses the b axis at 0 2 and 0 minus 2 ok. So, it opens leftwards. So, we can easily draw this parabola ok. This is v square equal to 4 times 1 minus u this is the parabola ok uh, u equal to 1 minus v square by 4. Now, let us take the other uh, side say uh, y equal to 1. So, this is mapped into this one ok and then y equal to 1 if you take when y is equal to 1 we get u equal to uh, x square minus 1 and b equal to uh, 2 uh, x ok. So, this gives you u equal to uh, uh, b square y 4 minus 1 ok. So, this is u equal to b square by 4 minus 1 ok. This this uh, this parabola again uh, we can easily uh, draw b square equal to 4 times 1 plus 
u okay so this will open right words okay because if u is uh, less than minus 1 okay then b square will be negative so v will be imaginary so this is your uh, minus 1 0 point okay uh, and then it crosses the b axis at the again points 0 2 and 0 minus 2 this is 0 2 and here we have 0 minus 2. So, it opens like this like this okay. So, this is the parabola okay u equal to b square by 4 okay and then u, u equal to v square by 4 minus 1 and then we have x plus y equal to 1. So, when x plus y equal to 1 what do we get uh, u x y uh, y equal to 1 minus x okay for this y equal to 1 minus x. So, u x y is equal to x square minus 1 minus x whole square. So, this gives you 2 x minus 1 and b is equal to uh, 2 x into 1 minus x. So, this is uh, 2 x minus 2 x square 2 x is equal to u plus 1. So, we get u plus 1 here and then we have minus 2 times u plus 1 by 2 uh, whole square. So, u plus 1 whole square by 4. So, this gives you 2 and this is what 2 u plus 2 minus u square minus 2 u minus 1 divided by 2. So, what do we get 2 u will cancel and we get uh, 1 minus u square by 2 ok. So, b equal to 1 minus u square by 2 and this also we can draw very easily ok because uh, 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 when when u is 0 ok b equal to 1 by 2. So, this is this is 0 1 by 2 point 0 1 by 2 point and when it crosses the uh, and moreover if u is uh, uh, u square this is 2 u equal to 1 minus u square ok. So, we can say u square equal to 1 minus uh, this is 2 b. So, uh, u square equal to 1 minus 2 b ok. So, this means that if b is more than half more than half ok then u square will be negative. So, u will be imaginary. So, b cannot be more than half ok that means it opens downwards ok. So, when uh, when u is equal to 0 b equal to half and when b equal to 0 u square is equal to 1. So, it crosses the u axis at this is 1 0 point and this is minus 1 0 point ok. So, it so this is uh, this this uh, parabola ok. Now, let us see uh, the so this one u one u equal to 1 minus b square by 4 is the image of uh, uh, x equal to 1 ok. This image of x equal to 1 this one is the image of y equal to 1 and this parabola is the image of x plus y equal to 1. Now, let us see the angle between x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 is pi y 2 and here also you can see the angle between the images of x equal to 1 and y equal to 1 is pi by 2. How we can see that uh, the point of intersection of u equal to 1 minus b square by 4 and uh, uh, u equal to b square by 4 minus 1 we have to see that uh, uh, by finding the, uh, the slopes of the tangents. So, u equal to let me uh, do it on a this one. So, u equal to 1 minus b square by 4 this is the image of x equal to 1 and u equal to b square by 4 minus 1 that is the image of y equal to 1. So, u equal to b square by 4 minus 1 this is the image of x equal to 1 and this is the image of y equal to 1. Let us see the angle of intersection between the two. So, what do you get uh, d v by d u let us find. So, when you differentiate this with respect to u what you get u is equal d u by d u is 1. So, then we have minus 1 by 4 into 2 v d b by d u ok 2 v d b by d u. So, what we get here d b by d u equal to minus 4 by 2. So, that means minus uh, 2 over b ok. Uh, this for the uh, this uh, uh, image of x equal to 1 ok. So, the, the for this uh, the slope of the tangent uh, is this one and for this one 
the slope of the tangent is similarly 1 equal to 2 v d b by d u over 4. Okay. So, what we get here uh, d b by d u equal to 2 over b. Okay. Now, let us see uh, uh, b square by 4 you can simplify u equal to 1 minus b square by 4 okay. and b square by 4 equal to u plus 1 here. So, let us put that. So, 1 minus u plus 1. Okay. So, what do we get? Uh, 1 minus u minus 1. Okay. So, this means that 2 u equal to 0. So, u equal to 0. u equal to 0 means uh, b equal to 2 and plus minus 2, but uh, b equal to plus minus 2. Uh, so, that means uh, because we are in the uh, uh, upper half plane, so c dash is uh, having coordinates uh, 0 2. Okay. So, the coordinates of c 0 2 c dash are 0 2. Okay. So, c dash denotes the uh, curve, okay. the point of intersection, this point of intersection is uh, 0 2. Okay. Okay. So, this means let us put here. So, here this gives you d b by d u at 0 2 equal to minus 1 and this gives you d b by d u at 0 2 equal to plus 1. Okay. So, product of this is m 1 say this is m 2. So, m 1 into m 2 equal to minus 1. So, they are perpendicular to each other that means this angle of intersection is pi by 2. Okay. So, here we are getting a curvilinear triangle and we see that the angles between the uh, sides okay, of the triangle and the um, uh, angle between the corresponding uh, uh, arcs here okay, corresponding uh, uh, sides of the uh, curvilinear triangle are uh, same they are uh, uh, equal in uh, magnitude and also in sense because you see that when this is x equal to 1 from x equal to 1 to y equal to 1 when we go we go uh, clockwise okay clockwise direction in this direction and here also from the image of x equal to 1 to the image of y equal to 1 when we move we go clockwise okay so angle of uh, intersection is preserved in magnitude as well as in sense so this also we can see these angles are pi by 4 by considering the slopes of the tangents to the curves uh, which are the images of uh, the other sides of the triangle. So, these angles are also pi by 4. So, angles are preserved in magnitude as well as in sense. So, this, this is because w equal to z square is conformal at each point where uh, d w by d z is not equal to 0 and d w by d z is equal to 0 at z equal to 0. So, because of conformality of w equal to z square the angles are preserved in magnitude as well as in sense. So, uh, now we shall uh, show that a harmonic function remains harmonic under a 1 to 1 conformal mapping w equal to f z. This property is of great practical value in the solution of boundary value problems involving two dimensional Laplace equation. So, uh, when it is required to solve the two dimensional Laplace equation in a given region D, it may be possible to find conformal transformation which maps D into a simpler region D star such as a circular disk or a half plane. The Laplace equation can then be used uh, can then be solved to uh, subject to the transformed boundary conditions in D star and the resulting solution when carried back to D by the inverse transformation gives a solution of the original problem. So, uh, let us show that a harmonic function h x y remains harmonic under a change of the variables arising from a 1 to 1 conformal mapping given by an analytic function f z. So, let us say uh, h x y be a harmonic function in a domain D and g x y is a conjugate of h x y in D. So, that h plus i g is an analytic function let us denote it y h z. So, h z is an analytic function of uh, z in d okay h z is equal to h plus i g g is conjugate harmonic function of h now since the mapping w equal to f z is 1 to 1 n conformal okay the image d star of d is a uh, domain and f prime z is not equal to 0 in d okay and the inverse function z equal to f w which maps d star onto d exists okay now uh, uh, d f by d w okay. d f by d w is equal to okay. 
okay z is equal to f of w and w is f z okay w is equal to f z. So, we have okay so by chain rule we can say this is 1 equal to d f by d w into d w by d z or d f by d w into f prime z. So, if f prime since f prime z is not equal to 0 we can write d f by d w equal to 1 by f prime z. So, d f by d w is written as 1 over f prime z and f prime z is not equal to 0 it is analytic function. So, z equal to f w okay f w d f by w d w is also not 0. So, z equal to f w is also analytic and consequently h z h z equal to f of uh, h of f w okay h z equal to h of f w. So, analytic function of an analytic function is analytic and it so this will be h z will be analytic in d star and the real part of h z is uh, h okay. So, real part of h z is h h x y okay. So, that x now will depend on u and b. So, real part is h x y and x y are functions of u and b. So, uh, this real part is a harmonic function okay in uh, of u b in d star. So, a harmonic function remains harmonic under a one to one conformal mapping uh, this fact will be used when we uh, solve the boundary value problems. So, when we use the method of conformal mapping in potential theory, we will need to find an analytic function which maps a given region onto a simpler one. Okay. Therefore, we shall consider the most important elementary functions from this point of view. So, in the next lecture, we shall be discussing bilinear transformation uh, which, are, which, are, which are a special class of conformal mappings and then we will take up uh, the various uh, transformations which map uh, a, a, a half plane onto a uh, disk or half plane into a half plane or we will consider the uh, mappings where a uh, uh, disk is mapped onto a disk. So, such uh, uh, transformations will be very helpful when we solve the boundary value problems. With this I would like to end my lecture. Thank you very much for your attention.